Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is our Let's Play series here and uh, we are up to episode number 12 today. If you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So episode number 12 let's jump straight in. The uh, 1929 Lincoln there stock i6 is uh, making some good progress now. If you want to see what that's up to, head on to our restoration series. The playlist is available for that car. There will be a playlist for each restoration project that we do. But uh, today, episode number 12, is back with our story order. So, in a right click, select the story order, which is this one up here. I became a victim of a failure. The manufacturer claims that. It's all my fault that the ABF, ABS pump has failed and the brakes locked up. It all went downhill from there. I started sliding and got a few scratches on the car. The important bit is I'm okay. Look the car over and repair anything that's broken. I reckon that aside from the brakes, I could use a new steering wheel. A new airbag would be a good idea too. So this is the... Uh, Qatar girl uh, Katsumoto if I'm saying that wrong please accept my apologies but that's what it looks like it says to me so we're going to take that one there and uh, we'll have a little look at what it is and what he's done definitely a front bumper missing headlight there so he's got some bodywork that's going to need repairing as well not too bad overall there we go. So we're going to right click car status, the various parts that is wrong. This is the actual story order section here. Replace body parts. So it only wants the right headlight and the front bumper replacing, so we're fine there. Change and drain the oil. Well, we can do that within the engine anyway. Radiator for definite is missing or broken, whichever way you want to look at it but there's various parts there that need looking at. So we're going to go move the car. I don't think we can put it on test pass because the radiator is missing. So we're going to move the car, push it onto the lifter A, and we'll have a look. So, first things first, we're going to go into the engine bay because we can do some tests in here. We're going to go salmon tools, we're going to put it on the OBD, see what uh, it gives us with that as well. So there we go, we've got the ABS module is knackered, we've got uh, spark plug there, we've got ignition wires that need doing three more spark plugs there, so that is those problems sorted or identified. Compression test, this is where we check the, uh, the actual engine block etc for cracks and things like that. Yeah, they're all fine. Next up we'll put it on the electric meter as well. This will uh, tell us things like the battery, the alternator, the starter motor. If there's any problems there. Now, of course the fans, yeah. Start was knackered as well, blimey. We've got a few problems with this one. Uh, done that one. Tri uh, tire tread one we can't do because we haven't got that tool unlocked yet. But we have unlocked the fuel pressure test. What this will do is uh, check that the fuel's going through the system, fuel pumps, etc. So that's a few tests done to the car. Close it down for a minute. Car status, of course, has identified a few other problems, but still not everything. So, uh, what we're going to do, so we'll open that back up actually, we did want to close that down. Looking at the engine there, so this exhaust here doesn't look good. We need to take a start motor off, we said that was knackered. Take that off there. That cover doesn't look particularly healthy. We'll take that off. Oh yeah, the exhaust manifold looks knackered as well. 
take all that out. So really you don't know the exact problems with these cars until you start looking and taking things apart and seeing where you're at. Take that radiator fan off. It looks like the radiator needs changing. That's okay. The alternator we said was having problems, which means we've got to take the belt off. And that water pump doesn't look very healthy either. Take that off. Water pump can come off. And I think what also might be a good idea what before we get too carried away taking parts off is to drain the oil out. Just gonna move the equipment to lifter A. Use the equipment. Blimey, well, there certainly wasn't much in there. Place the equipment back. So we'll take that oil filter off. Oil pan doesn't look particularly healthy. So we'll take that off. That'll give us an opportunity just to genuinely look inside. Like I said, those pistons don't look particularly good. But, uh, Apart from that, it's not too bad in there. So, I'll take that exhaust section off, get that out of the way. Give ourselves some room. I'll have a little look at that gearbox, that doesn't look very healthy. But to do that, you've got to get the drive off, and to do those, you need the wheels off. So, we'll start uh, this side here. We can get our buttons right. Take those wheels off. Take calipers off. Oops. Zoomed in on the wrong part there. So that's the brakes off. We're going to have to take that uh, front axle out. Like I said, we want to get to the gearbox. But to do that, you need to take axles off. So we get that wheel off there on the opposite side. Get that off. Take all those brakes off as well because they look knackered. shaft can come out now, which means we can take the gearbox off. That doesn't look particularly healthy. Uh, yeah, all the clutch look is knackered. Get that one off. The clutch pressure plate can come off. Get that off there. Now, the clutch plate itself doesn't look too bad, but that flywheel is, so we'll get all those off. And that looks about it on the front anyway. Well, of course, we've got the uh, brake, uh, the ABS modules, we said. There's a definite, uh, uh, just down here, look. Take that ABS module off. And it looks like the uh, pump itself behind is knackered as well. Take all that out, which means new brake pipes, etc., are going to be going in. So, I'm going to right click car status. We've got various parts that are now discovered. Still a couple that are not discovered, so that could potentially be issues around the back of the car which we, of course, not looked at just yet. So, just looking around this front, I can't see any more 
real major issues. Although, didn't we say something wrong with the spark plugs, wasn't it? Spark plugs as well are going to need to come out, which means taking off the ignition wires. Spark plugs were knackered, they need coming out. That's those. There was one other thing, I'm sure there was. Not sure on the battery now, I've come to think of it. No, the battery was fine. So we'll put that back in straight away. Take off the brake survey. Yeah, that's fine as well, so we'll put that back on. Okay. Got quite a few bits and pieces out of the car there. Uh, curious as to this top one here. It's got to be something surrounding the back. Yeah, it looks like those discs at the back are going to need doing as well. discs then it would be pads. Take the calipers off, brake pads off, press the right button, discs, so that doesn't look too bad in there. So head on to the other side. in there at the moment. So I've right, got car status. Still not got those two parts there. Got a front exhaust section in there. I'm just wondering if we've got any more hmm it's gotta be something within the engine here I should think. Probably a cam gear inside the uh, actual engine, maybe. Yeah, look. Just see that through the uh, casing. So we'll take that casing off. To do that, we need to take that roller off. Crankshaft pulley needs coming off. Take that timing cover off. And there we go, look. Belt tensioner doesn't look very healthy now, neither does that uh, uh, cam gear. Take that off as well. Right click car status, it still hasn't discovered it. Still some more parts somewhere. Just wondering if the actual uh, camshaft itself is a problem. Potentially. Hmm. Another puzzler. I'll take that initial coil off because that sometimes is a problem as well. That's at 64%. That fuel filter out of the way. Throttle off. Completely ripping this engine apart. Just to find out what the problem is. So unless it is something within uh, the engine itself, 
have to take the whole lot apart. Shaft caps. That's it, quite a few of those. So that's that done, or found anyway. We've still got two parts that are not discovered. Surely it is not the actual uh, crankshaft as well. Take off the head. So we are literally ripping this engine to pieces. Thought the piston rings, etc all okay according to the compression test don't believe we can get that result back up yeah I can't do that until the engine's back together so what could it be the engine back together and it actually be something in there. So I think what we're gonna do we'll grab the engine hoist, uh, move equipment to lift A, grab that engine out, pull the engine out, go to our engine stand. Create a new engine. I think it's that one. Yep. Like I said I thought the uh, pistons were all okay. They look okay. Obviously they're going to be worn. Anyway, but as the uh, car itself, got body parts there, oil change. So, yeah, I'm a bit curious as to what that one is. Okay, so I have to have another look over the engine itself or over the vehicle itself hmm. can't be uh, take the power steering pump off but I don't believe it's that no. So, we'll put the engine back together, and then we'll have to run on some tests. I've got a feeling it will possibly be some rubber bushings. So we'll put it all back together. It's not too much of an issue because it, uh, it's just given us the experience in... Uh, or for removing parts. So we definitely need a new camshaft, so we'll head onto the tablet, main shop, uh, camshaft, I think it was just the i4, we best double check, camshaft i4, not one there, so we'll put a brand new one of those in. Gear was knackered. We had a 
had a spare one, but it wants 100% uh, parts, so it can gear. It's two words, clearly. So pick a new one of those up. Oh no, it's the wrong one. It's that one. It's going to be one of those days, I think. There we go, put that on. So we get this, uh, before we do that, we need to shaft caps can go back in. Again, I don't believe they need a change in. I'm sure it would have said. If, of course, I miss anything, then we will have to uh, <laughs> take it all apart again, which is pretty annoying, but... Uh, So I think what we'll do is, uh, not that one, let's press the right button, uh, take off engine from there, and so reinstall the engine there, and then we'll put this back out of the way, and then we'll just rebuild the engine inside the car here. Part mount. So we definitely need an alternator, that's 100% guaranteed. The water pump, we've got one of those anyway, so that can go off straight on, brand new. Yeah, and it's either parts that we've had in the past. And that timing belt, did it need that changing? I don't think so. Belt tensioner, that definitely needs changing. Put that time cover back on. it with the uh, newer of the two. It didn't ask for that crankshaft pulley I don't believe. Serpentine belt, it definitely needs that one. Serpentine belt on there I believe. So we'll make ourselves look foolish again and uh, get the wrong one again. Go on. Get that uh, serpentine belt A. Definitely need one of those as well. And there. So let's uh, start putting this back together. That, uh, exhaust uh, in intake manifold. We'll get that back on. Didn't say change that. A change the throttle body we can get on the fuel filter we've got a new one of those anyway the ignition coil I'm not sure if it's a change that or not Ignition 
wires it said change but it's not said about the ignition coil so let's put that back on radiator whilst we're here. So radiator A, we definitely need one of those. Get that. Put that on there. Now radiator fan B we need. We need the radiator fan house in B fan 1. And two as well. So radiator fan housing B, fan one, fan two, and hopefully we've got all the parts for the front. There we go. That's that on there. We get that ABS pump on as well. We said we wanted both of those bits the ABS module and the ABS pump. As that's what the main problem was with the car. Redo all the brake pipes as well. as well. I know for certain we haven't got any of those. Four of those. Put those in now. wires we definitely need those okay so if we get the car lifted up we'll start doing some of the stuff underneath now like I say hopefully we've uh, we find everything that's wrong with the car now rather than uh, later on. That's uh, so a front exhaust section we need. Front exhaust section. Was it a standard or was it an I4? It's a standard. It can be quite annoying when it wants parts of the i4, but then it all of a sudden it wants separate parts. Now we've got an oil pan there at 98%, but I know for certain it won't accept that because it is on the list of parts to re be replaced. So we're going to have to order new one of those oil pan i4 so annoying relating to the clutch because if you replace one you replace all whether it requires it or not you should replace all the parts together in the clutch 
because it will just cost you more in the long run. Take that from uh, personal advice. Works out more expensive, but uh, it still needs doing. So we need a new gearbox for the i4. Gearbox for the i4. Expensive job this is going to be. Front drive shaft. Don't believe it said change. Like I said, it's still two parts missing, so we'll put that original one back in. Put the front axles back in. side. Put that front axle in that side. And then we'll make a start on these brakes as well. So we need two ventilated brake discs. Click okay, that brakes tab. Two brake discs. Might as well put two new pads on sure about the calipers. Need to have a look. Did it ask for the calipers? Brake caliper there, so that says yes to me. I'll get two of those. And then we can put those on as well. That's typical, we already had some in. Didn't ask for a new cylinder, but we've got one spare, so we might as well put it straight on. Put that front wheel on. Again, it's not asked to change wheels as far as I know. So we'll have a little look this side now. This certainly is a big job. We've not got another new cylinder, so we'll put that on. Put that wheel back on as well. So, once they are all on, as far as I can tell, bar the star motor, which we said, what we're going to do. Let's start a motor. Oh, we've got the. So let's get the start motor on first. We need a new one of those. Standard start motor. That can go on. We need that exhaust manifold going on. Four, and we need one of those. Can't spell once again. Source manifold I4. done. Exhaust manifold cover, which is typical. Pull that on there. So we'll look at the car status now. Everything is done except those two missing parts, which on two standard tyres we also need. Is that on the front or the rear? Let's highlight them. That's definitely a front. 
that's definitely a front as well so we need two new tires for the front but before we do that I don't think we can move the car to the test path what was that? oh the wheels are missing <laughs> oh, of course they are, we took the back wheels off mm, dear. so let's put the back wheels back on Brake discs, they look okay. 63% seems to be the number for this car. Put the pads back on. The... Yeah. Put those on, put that on. So we'll put the car back together, and then what we're going to do now see. rear tyre there needs doing. So what we'll do, quickly put this one on. And then what we're going to do is put the vehicle onto the uh, test path and just check it over. And then that will just clarify any other issues that we need to do. Yeah, you see that tyre's knackered. So, we can now move the car to the test path. No, we can't because there's no oil in the engine. Let's press the right button. Uh, come around the front. Find the uh, fuel plug. Tip some oil in there. And that's that job done. Right click move car, test path, there we go, so we've got the engine rebuilt and working, open that up, okay, if we don't fall in the pit, so the front brakes are perfect now, the rear brakes look like they still need some work but we'll see what happens front suspension seems to be okay now I say now we didn't do any work with it ah, so we've got rubber bush in there and a rubber bush in there so there is the additional problem yeah, rubber bushing, rubber bushing. I knew we'd find it by putting it on the test path. So we're going to move the car back to uh, lifter A. Head on out. Now that we know what the parts are, lift that up. Lift it up once again. I'm going to go straight into the shop. Type in bushings because I don't believe I have any of those, we know it's two that need changing the question is which two? so we'll go into the examine mode, this is one and there's the other one on that side so, we'll whip that out we'll replace it straight away so we know that's done then we can uh, move over to the other side Take that one out. It's always a rubber bushing. Okay, don't want to let me do that one. There we go, take that one out. Part mount, put that one straight back in. There we go. So if you right click car status now. Yeah, we go. We've got all the bits and pieces done, except two standard tyres, which we know are the back tyres. Because if we go into the examine mode, uh, overview mode, you can see there are two tyres are red. I've got a feeling it's going to want those tyres put onto the front of the car. 
but we'll take them off now. Head on to the other side. Get that one off. Like so. We're going to separate those off now. that we've just received and we are going to want 205.45 R16 I have to write it down for myself otherwise uh, I do forget very quickly I'm terrible for it so we're going to click home we're going to go into the tyre shop get the standard was it standard tyre B or A? Standard tyre T. Just a standard tyre. We want two of them for definite. 16s, the width is up to 205. And the profile 45. Buy those. Now we can join parts. Ah, which rim is it? Because we had a load of spare ones. I think it was the rim classic. With a brand new tyre on. So what we'll do is put this onto the back of the car. onto the back of the car first where we actually got the wheels took off. If of course it says that uh, it's repaired then we can leave it there. If it says that it's still not repaired then we know that it's going to need to uh, be swapped onto the front. Okay so we can take that one, we can balance that one whilst that's doing that. We can of course put this tyre on here. Right click car status. Hold to the bottom. No, it's not done it, so it means it's going to uh, have to go on the front. So quickly unscrew that one. Head onto the front because they now need coming off. So I'll click mount the part and mount the better of the two. balancer and then that one needs coming off the front whilst we're here we mount the new one One. Mount part. There we go. Job done. Right, 
bring that back down. I'm going to take it right down. That will remove the jack. Now go car status. All the jobs are done there. We've done the oil as well. We've just got two body parts to change. The right headlight and the front bumper. And that's because they are both missing. So uh, the car itself. Can I go? Oh, go back into the tablet. Click the home button. And body shop. Type in the car name. No, am I misspelling that? No, it's not an L, it's an I. Okay, it happens, it happens. It's one of those days, like I say. Okay, and we wanted the uh, right headlight and the front bumper. That's all we need to replace. Put the right headlight on and put the front bumper on. It's not asked for a number plate, I'm assuming that's uh, automatic. But like I said, it's not asked for it, so there we go. The jobs are done. Rubber bushings, oil pan, serpentine belt, fans. Exhaust sections, water pumps, gearbox, starter, oil filter, alternators, spark plugs, etc. The ABS, the brakes, and a couple of tyres as well. Total money spent £5,632 or dollars. And total money we're going to get back is £15,030 or dollars. So, we can finish the order. No, car is incomplete. The front license plate is missing from the car. But it didn't have one. It didn't have one when it came in. So, assembly mode. Let's... Yeah, no items to work with. So, we're putting a license plate on the car that uh, it didn't even have. Ridiculous. So, we'll do the Alabama one for now. Put that on there. Car status. So we've just spent a bit more money, but it's not increased the value. It's done, it's finished. There we go. So that is another story order done. Like I say, today is uh, episode 12. If you uh, enjoyed today's car and today's episode, remember to drop us a like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new, of course. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching this episode, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.